Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So right now I am cleaning up the remnants of the oil off the fretboard, which I am using Howard's Feed and Wax. This stuff works really good. The owner of this guitar ended up sending me a bottle of this and he wanted me to use it on his guitar because that's all he uses. Uh, and I've been using it <laughs> Some bitch, this shit works nice. I've been using the Dunlop 65, but uh, I think I found something that I'm going to be using more often. All right. So that's taken care of. Now I can put the nut back on. I got the area for the nut painted, so the wood is sealed all the way around. And now I can put this on and don't have to take it off anymore. So let's judge the height of this. So I'm just going to lay across here, and that should be alright. Right where it's at should be okay for what I need to do. So I'm going to flip this around, hopefully this doesn't come out, yeah it's going to come out, it's alright. I need a block. in here. But make sure this is in a spot on both sides. Okay, we are. Put my hand underneath here. Put a block in here. There we go. All right, so I got block inside there, got my springs on there, got my Floyd in place.
got some 800 grit here soaking in some water. I don't think I need to go to 400 grit. I don't think it's going to be that. It needs to be that aggressive. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this. So I'll be polishing plastic. Alright, so the 15 has been soaking for a little bit. Let's see if I can polish out the 800 grit scratches. Alright, so I got a piece of 2000 sitting here. And let's see if I get the 1500 grit scratches out. Alright, so I got some rubbing compound on the plastic. Let's see what she's going to do. Anything's got to be better than what it was. Yeah, I'll show you how we did here. Put this thing down really good. Both sides. Well, that one deep scratch isn't still in there, but she is a lot better than what it was. Looks good to me. All right, so I am to the last part of this build over here, and I came across a couple of snags. So one of them was more of a cosmetic issue and maybe a mechanical issue, uh, but not really a big deal, all right? Now, the white speed knobs I put on here, I had uh, a set of white speed knobs, and I got clear speed knobs. I got black speed knobs, but the black ones don't fit the CTS pots. Um, I've got a bunch of gold knobs. I got some black knobs that will go on here, but it's more of a Cosmo black than a black black. And I didn't want to put the knobs that he had on here because they just, the, you know, everything else I put on here is kind of new. And I didn't want to put something that was going to be uh, rusty on here. So what I ended up doing is I ordered a new set of knobs for here. They're not speed knobs, so they're not larger ones. They're more of the style of what this guitar is compared to being a larger knob. Now, what's the difference between a speed knob and a regular knob? Well, speed knobs are a lot lar larger, so when you go ahead and like hit them to turn them, uh, it's less rotations because they're larger knobs to get the volume to go completely down uh, and completely up. But the problem with knobs is not all of them fit CTS pot shafts. So if you force them on, you either break the knob itself or you break the pot. And what could happen is you could push too hard on this post, it goes through the back of it. You gotta remember that these things are just pressed together. They're kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know, they got tabs that go around the top of it and that locks the back cover on them. Well, too much pressure and they will open up and you will separate the back cover from the rest of it. Now you gotta replace the pots. So I'd rather put what's gonna fit than for something that's not. <coughs> Excuse me. The other issue I have is with the nut. Now this is the biggest, the big deal of this. So I have to look back in previous videos of this when I first did the unboxing and he sent me all the parts with the bridge and everything else that uh, went with this guitar. Um, one of the issues I had was with this nut and what's going on with it is you know I got the block in there to lock the strings down and if I turn it upside down that block does not fall out there's no screw there's no screw inside there it's kind of like I gotta get my fingernail underneath it to get it to come off and it does that all the way down all of them do this so I know this is not a used nut it's like brand new and this is a a BR3 so it fits it's a little bit not long enough, or wide enough, whatever you want to call it, for this headstock, and it just barely, you know, reaches the edges of the fretboard because of the binding. Um, it's cutting the strings. I mean, it's actually cutting the strings like if you would use a wire cutters or scissors or something to cut something. And what's happening is, is that when it, it's cutting it over here on this side, so when this thing starts getting locked down, 
this is kind of sharp there, there it's not rounded or none it is pretty sharp but I could probably get it to work but again I don't want to have to get something to work it should work right out of the box and this is not going to work so I've used a lot of these in the past and I have one spare over here that uh, I didn't put on anything um, but again you know it's a little bit too short for the uh, top of the fretboard and that is a adjustable locking nut which I like these I like these a lot and this will fit up here but just a tad bit short kind of like what this one is and uh, but this one here I think I took this off of a guitar and I've used these before they work out really good if you know how to use them especially if you want to adjust the action height at the first fret without having to grind down or saw or sand or whatever so this is set up and it's like perfectly flat even with the fretboard itself so when you put it on here it's not going to be like tilted this way or tilted this way or anything or one side's going to be higher than the other it actually is perfect the way I had that have that cut right now and if you remember I built up this area over here so it had clearance for the uh, truss rod and this wasn't hitting it so and you don't have to add a bunch of shims so with this here this these this will work out really good um the nice thing about it like I said is it's adjustable you got two set screws here that you do is you loosen up the two screws that mount this and you turn this to whatever height that you want it or lower and then you tighten up your two screws over here and this is not going nowhere it's locked into place and it's not moving so and the nice thing about it too is is that this is something that they kind of considered as well the blocks themselves, they lock over the string, but they come off. They slide off without any screws or anything holding them down. They're not like this to where I gotta like pick it with my fingernail to get it to come out. I've got a shitload of uh, locking nuts for Floyd Roses. Um, a lot of the ones that I have are a 42 or 42 and a half. They're not a 43. And also they're chrome. So other than this locking nut here uh, which I ordered uh, the size for this um, string spacing and everything else and I gotta wait for those to come in so that's my little dilemma here on waiting for parts for this thing so it's always it's always something isn't it I had issues with I didn't like the way the finish looked or um, you know the headstock I ended up sanding the clear a little bit too thin yeah it's always something and when this when he gets this thing, this thing is going to be like a brand new guitar. And it should be. Everything on it's new. And also, the finish and everything is, you know, fresh. So, hopefully he really, really likes it. Uh, I love it. I mean, this thing, the way this thing came out with the paint, the clear, everything. You don't feel any of these lines. It's nice and flat. I mean, just nice. I just have to wipe this thing down a little bit because it's got some dust and shit on it but other than that uh that's it so this is going to be on hold until those parts come in i did however get the pickup rings for the gold one so i could probably finish that before i finish this which i don't like that because this came first and this should have been the first one out the door compared to the gold uh or not the gold but the yellow les paul and then the other one but like i said as i'm working on one thing i got something else doing something else so if i'm working on this i got something drying you know something just got cleared or i'm waiting for parts for it or if i'm this one just got cleared, so I grabbed the other one, and I'll start working on that. I'm surprised I don't get parts and shit mixed up over here. Really surprised. So I could probably start working and getting that other one out. And, uh, yeah, so I hope the owner doesn't mind that I, the way I've been working and how I've been doing things. I'm sure he's going to be happy with this. came out really nice. Making sure all the hiccups and everything else that are going on with it are taken care of before it goes to him. You know, I'm didn't want to get this thing stringed up and sent out to him and then uh 
he goes and does something and then locks the nut on it and you know it starts breaking strings on him he's going to be pissed and i would be too and i wouldn't blame him for being pissed so you guys take it easy have a good one i will catch up with you all later uh i have possibly a giveaway coming up pretty soon again and uh yeah so all right you go take it easy